What's up, what's up, man? Listen, we are back, man. Another goddamn episode of The Cook Up, man. Shout out to my brother, DJ Larry Love. I'm holding it down for my boy. Had a long night last night, so I'm gonna hold it down, my boy. But listen, we are back another week. It's been a crazy-ass week. Crazy-ass month. Really a crazy year. 2022 done got off to a goddamn crazy stop, but we doing it for our indie artists this year. We, we getting in tune with the streets. We getting in tune with the people. You know what I'm saying? So we got my boy. You feel me? Tell, tell him who you is, my boy. Oh, my God. It's a motherfucking jungle, baby. It's your boy Youngin. You feel me? Straight out of Alabama with it. So listen, we this long overdue. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been seeing what you've been doing. I've been seeing the movement. And my boy paid Jake. Shout out to my boy Jake. Oh, yeah, for sure. Atlanta, Atlanta Records uh, CEO. Tap in. Ben, you know what I'm saying, put me in tune with you. Ben let me know exactly what you had going on, what you was doing. So this is long over <laughs> fucking do. So we, we in the building, man. What you got going on, man? You said you're from Alabama? Yeah, I'm from Alabama. I'm from Alabama. I do most of my business out here in Atlanta, though, with Jake. But shit, we just dropped a new single, The Man. It been going up. We finna go on tour with that song. We got three tours back to back, actually. We got one with Slime Light Shouty coming up. We got one with a dude named Gala. Then we locking in with 1017 Love Enchanting. Ten four, ten four. So you you got three tours coming up and you and you said you locked in with my boy Jake. So how did how did that situation come about? How did y'all meet and, and link up? Well, I actually met Jake through one of his um assistants. He was training her to be like him. Okay. They had um she had hit me up on Instagram. They got me to come out for a meeting. I went up there, you know, I chopped it up with him. We came up with a good deal, how we think things work. We got them, you know, how we think things go smooth, we work like this. But shoot. Got down, ended up happening. The lady that got down brought me on to Jake. She ended up trying to finesse me. She was got them taking money out my budget and everything. Like Jake was replacing the money. I hit her own pocket to got down get back right because God he, damn. He had her managing me. He was like, you know, trying to let her be. I'm, I was one of the first artists. He was gonna let her, you know, try to manage under him. Mm-hmm. And so she did that. That when Jake took full control of me, and we just been going up from now. It's funny because you know it's. It's funny how motherfuckers still trying to finesse artists in 2022, like this 1953 or something. Like, we not, artists not getting finesse no more. Yeah, like, no. they'll drop a manager so damn fast. And my thing a lot of times is a lot of artists get managers before they even got motion. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you, a lot of artists need to make sure you need to get that motion before you try to put somebody in a budget. And then if you put somebody in your budget, make sure you trust them. Because right. my man said she was skimming off the budget. Like, and we ain't even hit the peak of man. where we going yet. Paying her rent with it. You feel me? That shit crazy. So with that being said, you linked up with Jake. Jake got you here, right? Oh, yeah. So so you been here doing your thing. How, how has Atlanta treated you, number one? And, have, and what is it doing to, like, further you as an artist? Well, I feel, I feel like Atlanta done opened the doors up for me. They be showing me much love out here. Like, a lot of clubs I can just go to. I just get straight in, like, through the door. They let me mm-hmm. and my people in, you feel me? Yeah. I be getting encore after I perform. So, they, yeah, they been showing me a lot of love out here in Atlanta. They want mm-hmm. to do most of my business here. Because mm-hmm. my hometown, they, you know, they don't, they don't just really, you know, fuck with me too hard. But, you know, they it's got like they the like to catch them, right? on when they see, you know, everybody else get to fucking with a nigga it's and like shit. That. It's like that. And you said your hometown is? Valley, Alabama. Valley, Alabama. And that's close to? It's close by Auburn, Auburn University, like 30 minutes away. So we in the country with it. <laughs> I ain't going to just say the country. I, we, I mean, we, not, now don't, don't take that offensively, you know what I'm saying? But we in a rural area. Yeah, we damn sure that. You don't see much. We got damn a lot of trees and grass. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's crazy because a lot of artists that's big, Fujiano, Jeezy, uh, don't come from the inner city. They come from out of the city, from the little, the little towns. Fujiano was from, like, no, uh, Jeezy was from Columbus. Fujiano was like Macon. Well, Jesus making and Fujiano Columbus, it's like just outside the city, and they, you know what I'm saying, right. did they damn thing. So, when it comes to them small towns, it almost like a Chitlin circuit type thing. I like to, to fuck with them. That's why you see Tig and Bigger Rankin doing all these Chitlin runs through these little cities because they gonna bring the artists out. The artists right. is in the little city, so that's dope. I know um, coming from a small town, it's, it's crazy trying to, you know, maneuver your way into a bigger city. And you said you still live in Alabama, correct? Yeah. So you migrating weekly to to get to, to get, you know, to get to the music and get what you want to get done. What's preventing you from really staying in Alabama and making your mark in your hometown? I know you said they ain't, they don't fuck with the hometown or the home team as much, but what do you think you could do or what do you think could be changed or be done to stop that crab in the barrel mentality with these small towns? 
Well, I've been trying to go out and start throwing my own events in Alabama and start bringing, you know, big name artists out. And I want to give uh, other artists the opportunity to open up for those artists. You feel mm -hmm. me? We just trying to work out finding the building because, you know, I need to say too much. Be a lot of the building, you know, owned by other people and they don't want to help, you know, contribute with us. They don't want right. to give us, open, they don't want to open the door for them. Right, right, right. Money don't matter. They just don't like, they don't just like what we coming with, I That's guess. How it you know, is. I don't want to say too much on that end with mm -hmm. that, but. Mm -hmm. That's really the most parts, and then a lot of clubs I go to are just mm, like the whole city. They just fool everybody else except for me. You feel yeah. they play everybody music, everybody local in the club except for me. Yeah, so it's, it's some it's some hating shit going on. You feel because like when I come to the city, they they play me quick. You feel me? Yeah. But you know I don't I don't, I don't you know I don't take nothing from it. You know I still keep doing my thing. Show love to everybody. Cause yeah, yeah. It, it 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 comes to a term time when you got to move around. Sometimes a lot of times I know I'm the type of person if 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 a situation ain't going the way I want it to go, I'm gonna get the fuck on. Regardless of the city, regardless of his business, regardless of his relationships, regardless of if it's anything, I'm gonna get the fuck on. A lot of artists tend to to sometimes stay in that mode and forget that you can you're not a tree. You can fucking move like you anyway. don't like, like you did. You ain't gotta. They not fucking with me in my hometown. They really and think about it. It's really probably 99 other artists they not fucking with that ain't taking the initiative to move and do what the fuck they need to do to get where they need to go. Right. So you already, you taking the first step to get there. So I like that. What's the next step though? What's next for, for Jungle Baby? Next for Jungle Baby, make myself an A-list artist. No B-list, no C-list, none of that. I'm trying to go all the way up, the Baby Gunner, them status. Mm. But see, we've been, we've been working on big events because we've actually finna book out the State Farm Arena coming this summer. Mm -hmm. We finna bring out Lil Baby. Mm. And then, you know, I think State Farm Arena hold like 10,000, 18,000 people. So we just trying to, you know, start farting off to, you know, less showcases, more of big artist event we're bringing out, major artists. I'm opening up with major artists everywhere I go. I'm not coming out unless it's a major artist coming out with me. I see what you're saying. So you're going to basically show these motherfuckers right. that I'm just as good to be on the stage with Lil Baby. I'm just as good to be on the stage with, with this person. We had a person here uh, last week, Asian A, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, she kind of was going through what she was going at first, too. As far Shout out to Asian A, too. And she going on to a lot of them. Shout out to her. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I, I think that she was kind of going through the same thing that you was going through as well. People not fucking with her as much. But she stayed stayed the course, and now she on to a lot of them. And it seemed like Jake is putting you in the right position to get there. But if Jake, now you signed Atlanta Records, correct? I'm not the independent. So Jake my manager. If, if Jake came to you right now, or, or, or goddamn whoever is the biggest label, whatever, came to you and was like, I want to sign you as an artist right now. What you sign and why? Shit, it just depends on what they talking about. They ain't talking about the right thing. I'ma keep shit pushing where I got it. Shit, <laughs> me and my me and my dad got a bag. You got you got to have more than us to goddamn sign me. <laughs> he talking about more than what we already got in the back end. Right, shit. right, right. So you ain't even really looking to get signed. You looking to make some noise, but you can independently do it yeah. yourself. Yeah, cause these show we doing booking the artist. We booking them like this stuff that we doing ourselves. Like mm -hmm. no label. We came to Jake. We, hey, we trying to do this, Jake. Mm -hmm. I can make that happen. Look, we can do it like this and. We making a ham. We booking mm. artists ourselves. Everything we doing, we doing ourselves. We making our own back end. I'm getting paid for all them shows I'm doing. I'm going out mm. doing. So when did you realize the importance of a team? Because it seems like you you got your shit together. Your street, your smarts. I don't want to say street smarts, but your business smarts. Cause see, when I first started, cause I was, I really was my own manager at mm. first. Cause like my dad, he mm -hmm. was he was investing into me. He was like my investor, but. I was my own man. I was sitting up all my shows. I'm, you know, hitting everybody up. Hey, I need y'all here. I'm promoting all my stuff. I was doing everything myself. So it's like when I really met Jake and I seen how he, you know, he do most of the stuff for me. So it's like it take a real, it take a lot of, lo it take a load off of me. I don't got to do as much now. Mm -hmm. All he got to do is call me. Hey, I got this set up for you. Be here, be here. And I can, I, I, mean, I, can, you know, I, can, be, I can be there on time. It ain't nothing to make somewhere on time. That's dope. So he was really, you know, he took a lot of load off of me because I was doing all of it myself. He right. set my shows up for me. He is keep me in motion instead of me having to do it for myself. But, you know, I still got my own stuff that I bring to the table myself from what I already had going on before, mm -hmm, Jake. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a, it's a a relationship that can benefit not just Jake but you and not just you but your team as well. I think it's dope. So you got a manager. You got an investor. You got tours coming up. You said you got an album finna drop, right, if I heard correctly? Uh, not just yet, not just yet. But so when, when, when can we get an album or the next project coming from you? Um, I don't know. We gonna put a, we we working on putting the EP together. We've been talking about doing putting the EP out. I don't just know the exact date yet, mm -hmm. but y'all can see it coming sometime this year. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it comes a time where you know what I'm saying. People want to hear you rap, 
And then it comes a time when you got to spit that shit. You feel me? <laughs> so as of right now, I'm hearing you, Jungle Baby, but I don't know if they hearing you at home. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do it like this. I'm going to take 30 seconds, Jay Black. We're going to do it like this. We don't need no beat. We're we, we going to keep it, you know. We're going to gonna get real New York with it. I'm going to give my boy Jungle Baby 30 seconds, man. We're going to spit that shit. I want the people at home to hear that shit. Let's go. <laughs> I got some for you. Okay. Hey, I saw my nigga, yeah, you know I be glowing this shit that you showing, I'm blowing. All I did walking my cook, got a young nigga snoring, but I just keep pouring and pouring. Just hey. bought a new coupe and they're cullin' it. Know the bit foreign, the bitch keep going and going. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> that nigga got, that nigga said, oh, shit. He said, it keep going and going. Okay, okay, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, oh, don't shit. fold. You I got it, my fold, nigga. I can't fold. You I can't, can't fold, fold, my nigga, you got it. Just bought a new coupe in the cullin. Know the bit foreign, the bitch keep going and going. I need all the mine, don't care what it is. I'm not going, been popping it since I'm born. You taking the wrist, but I'm taking the arm. You ran out of luck, boy, hand to your charm. Well, how for a week, nigga, thank you, you own you. How, mm, you ran out of rap, now that little shit is gone. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Fuck it, we don't need no more, nigga. You can rap. I'm geeked up. That <laughs> <laughs> My nigga is high as hell in this motherfucker. That's gas, gas, huh? Yeah, I dig, I dig, I dig. Listen. I like what you're doing, my boy. I like how you're moving. Uh, we got a lot of people that sit on these couches that, that came from a lot of places that say a lot of shit and don't stand on what they saying and don't stand on what they say they going to do. And this is one of the few times where I believe that you standing on what you're saying and going to do what you're going to do. So I salute you. Um, you got some people you want to shout out? Some people at home, some producers? Anybody want to shout out? Mm, yeah, man. Shout out the home team. Shout out my dad, Mike Dent. Shout out Atlanta City Records. Pay Jay for doing his thing for me. You know, shout out Jungle Baby, the whole gang at home. Shout out my boy V Doja. He be mastering my shit. Shout out Richie. He master some of my songs, too. You feel me? Yeah, shout out to everybody. Love it all. Listen, listen. And what we pushing? What, what project we pushing currently right now? What oh, can yeah. we look you up on YouTube? Oh yeah, we pushing the man right now. You can find me at Jungle Baby Youngin. Why you in G A N? We pushing the man in my new single, and we got Tap In that just dropped. That bit going up, and I got Must Be Blind just hit a hundred thousand on Spotify. Are oh, you going crazy? You going crazy? Well, listen, we doing it for the indie artists, man. It's over. We out. Shout out to my boy Jungle Baby, man. Till next time, Larry. I held it down. Let's get it. <laughs>